So my girlfriend and I took a little weekend getaway to the Disney Swan Resort in Orlando, Florida. And the resort itself, which I actually really enjoyed staying at, had a handful of restaurants at the location. One of them being Todd English's Blue Zoo. To be honest, I didn't know who Todd English was and I don't really know much about him now. So knowing that doesn't color my opinion about the restaurant in any way, I just thought it was interesting to have a name attached to it. Approaching the place, you're greeted with a waterfall and a dim blue interior that I actually found very mellow and relaxing. We were seated in the middle of the restaurant, where at the corner you can see the open kitchen that had a rotisserie fish on display that I don't see very often like that. The menu is seafood centric, and it's not at all that big which is a plus for me. I find the type of food that they do is wide enough though that you can find something to enjoy. But I will say that my girlfriend's not at all a big seafood eater, and in that scenario the menu can be kind of limited, but Blue Zoo is a seafood restaurant, so you get what you came for in that regard. We started the night by ordering their signature zoo berry cocktail, which was blueberry vodka, fresh lemon juice, and rock candy syrup. Highly tart drink that actually worked very well with the dishes that we ordered. The complimentary bread consisted of two pieces each of shibata, focaccia, and this parmesan flat crisp that I don't remember the name of, but they served it with a softened flavored butter that I really, really liked. The appetizer we ordered was the teppan seared scallops and braised short rib over cauliflower puree. I absolutely loved the dish. The short rib was immensely flavorful and super tender, and the scallops were simple, but I feel like they were treated very well. Although a recurring thing I notice is that the food can tend to be on the saltier side, which for people who are more sensitive to it might find it a little too strong. My entree was the miso glazed miro, a sea bass served with shiitake ginger rice, black garlic, and sticky soy, while my girlfriend had the prime filet of beef. Served with carrot cumin puree, baby carrots, and bacon braised haricot verts. Again, I found the dishes tended to lean on the saltier side of things, but it's more prevalent because of the use of soy in the dish I ordered. But I still found everything highly enjoyable. The sea bass was light, tender, while the rice complemented it very well. As for my girlfriend, her steak was ordered medium and it came out very nicely. Though she doesn't comment on food at any critical level, from what I tried off of her dish, I found it very well put together, especially the vegetables, which I thought were cooked just about the right texture of being soft but not too mushy. Almost al dente, I guess, but a little bit past it. You want to get the truffle? Afterwards, we finished our dinner with two orders off of their dessert menu, which according to the server and their menu, is helmed by award-winning pastry chef Laurent Brandler. We ordered his truffles, which is an assortment of seasonally inspired chocolates, and also the molten chocolate cake that's served with vanilla ice cream. I'm not much of a chocolate guy in all honesty, but the different types of chocolate really came out well. Flavors including coconut, blueberry, ginger, peach, and a few more I've sadly forgotten. And of course, chocolate cake, warm and with ice cream, such a favorite of mine and my girlfriend's that you can't really go wrong with it. Overall, the Blue Zoo is a very mellow place to have a higher-end seafood outing. The server that we had was highly knowledgeable to any questions we had and was able to explain the menu very, very precisely. They were very genuine and inviting, and that's an example of their staff. I think that's one of their strongest suits. I really enjoyed the food. The tart zooberry drink was actually a great compliment to the highly seasoned dishes we had. Like I said, it may be a little strong for some people, so be wary of that if you do intend to visit. Otherwise, from great staff to a great meal to a great location, I definitely visit here again.